my name is Lucky Mayo, and welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. Or A Wolf Among Us. The Wolf. The Wolf Among Us. Yep, I was right the first time. Let's do this. Previously. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. I know that. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once, and... I'm not yours to lose. That was so mean to say. I'm not girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. If it's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was hooking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god. What is it? It's Crane. That fucking creep, spineless little fucking rat. Crane? God, you think you'd know a person. Right. <laughs> you have to tell her. I know. What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... Crane's the killer. What? Ichabod Crane? How do you know? Shit! Crane's been... Ugh. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine. Okay, it's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? That perverted little fucker might be after Snow. I need to find her right now. Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Big B! Wait. What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... Please be careful. When you tell her. I know. No, you don't know. You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Yep. <laughs> Just remember that. That's fair. I'm here to pay my respects, that's all. I'm gonna wait for the fucking funeral. I'm gonna wait for her to stop. We were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. I won't, um, offend you by claiming one day that... Where's my subs? Pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it will never subside. 
But I also know that that the memory of Lily and will Lawrence. sustain as well. And it will, in time, equal in strength to our mourning her loss. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about what you've all been so grateful to share with me. Your memories of her. How she could be stubborn and patient, rash and thoughtful. Your Highness. How she carried a torch oh, for the old uh, ladies, Sheriff. For tradition. I'm sorry, I, uh... I old enough. And most of all, About as well as you think. I haven't had any other, um... It's never been as bad as when you saw me, at least. Okay. <laughs> I was angry at first. When I heard that Lily was getting a funeral. And Holly was getting closure. I wanted that, too. And I wanted it for Faith. But then I remembered... Faith lived a story Lily never did. She had her adventure. She got to live in the light of forever after with me. For a while. So let Lily have the better finish. I'm sorry, Lawrence. I know, Sheriff. And thanks for saving my life. You got it. Take care of things, okay? Bigby, is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's... He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie? After you promise me? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Bigby could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. I'm... But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Bigby gives a shit about this. Holly gonna be okay. I'm sorry, Holly. I, I didn't know he put her down the witching well. I really didn't. <laughs> Bigby cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. Uh, yeah, this Crane's a creep. Crane's a creep. <laughs> Why are you here, anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I think I know who murdered your sister. Who? Ichabod Maybe Crane. We talk about this somewhere else. What? No, I deserve to know. We all deserve to know. I know, I, I know, but this isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care about procedure. I think it was Ichabod Crane. What? Crane. Crane. Okay, everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? He says that fucking Crane murdered Lily and you expect me to- Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but just let us do our jobs first. Look, Holly, I know how this must- No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. Of course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. I mean, hey, Lieutenant didn't take off your fucking arm, Grin. You're gonna need that for this. You're gonna need that for this fight. It's coming up. Crane. Yeah. I can't believe this. This is someone I've worked with for decades. This is a guy... He gets freaking shakes when he has to order food. I mean, what are you telling me? It, it's all an act? Just, what have you found? Um... Bigby? What's going on? Snow, Crane is completely obsessed with you. Oh my god, if this is about how Crane treats me at work... Just I... listen to me for a second, alright? I followed a lead to this shithole motel in the open arms. It's not that bad. Got a room there. <laughs> I've seen <laughs> worse. I've seen seedier hotels in my day. <laughs> making her look like you while he was... You know. He... He plays your story over and over again. 
This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. It gets worse. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. To not picture him. We should go. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. And if we get this wrong, it would mean more than our jobs. I'm sorry. I think I'm doing this wrong. You took a cab here, right? Yeah. I'll drive. Snow? Narissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? We have to. I don't mean to be... Um, no, I understand. Are you okay? You don't have to do this right now. I'll be fine. How'd it go? At the motel? Oh, it went fucking great. Did you find anything? No? It was Crane's room. But you knew that already, right? Nerissa! Yeah, um... Uh, coming! <sighs> Constable? Wait, 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 easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? Now is really not the time for whatever you... Jergovs are planning to do. Well, isn't that the thing of it? Plans. Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning yourself with. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fit to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. You're trying to pull this shit at a funeral? We can deal with this later. No, not later. Later's too late. Right now. Help me. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone and we leave you to yours? Just don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please. Rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that. It ain't any of your... What deal? They want me to leave Crane alone. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. Really. That wasn't right, telling everyone our dealings. We ain't fucking friends. Uh, okay, I'm gonna get out of your fucking way. What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? That's not my fault. Think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Hey, calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move. It's not worth it, Holly. They'll leave on their own. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. Oh god damn it, dude. I got it done. You bitch! I'm a fucking funeral!
I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually worm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <clears throat> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's everyone else? They all make it? They're fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. The Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. <laughs> and uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. Look, I'm not the one who creates the situations. I'm just the one who has to deal with them. Truly. So you say. <laughs> Tweedledee and Tweedledum were some fuckers for pulling that shit. Office. I know, I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. So, to recap. Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. There's no other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. The damn mirror. What the hell is going on? Just, I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but... Do you really think Crane did it? I... no, Everything but... points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. He's... he was a conniver. A... a coward. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he... held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Can I, um, ask you a question? Sure. It's kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you. Sure. It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way, Deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. I don't enjoy it, but... Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Why even bring this up? I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, hey guys? We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh... Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. All right, how long will it take for the mirror to reform? Well, it could take days. Or months, or years. 
He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. Really, <laughs> <laughs> I know Never that mind that. Come help me look. Oh, Buffkin's just trying his best. I like you're okay, Buffkin. I'm gonna give you. A, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say good job. Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane. You know. Oh yeah. Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that, whoever that is. His witch. Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Hmm. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah. <laughs> of course. I like you, Buffkin. <laughs> you didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. I'm so, I'm not gonna blame Buffkin. <laughs> hey, Snow, what up, baby? <laughs> okay, are there any updates? Wait. Uh, on the extra funding I requested, as I explained in my... Okay. <clears throat> yes, guys, I see the fucking key. I'm gonna look at the key. What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. I, it's better you don't know. I want to know. A lot of blood and flowers. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. There's only so much you can repress, you know? Yep. Snow, you, you couldn't have known. No, I could have. Come on, let's keep looking. It's not your fault, Snow. <laughs> He's creep. There's no two ways about that. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? <laughs> it's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. It must be about this ring. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. <laughs> set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me called to- I called just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? 
No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at two o'clock. Fucking buskin. A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. You're not needed here. Just ignore him. Ignore me? Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. You in charge in the first place. Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years. I'm heading up the investigation, okay, Bluebeard? That makes this a moot point. And somebody needs to run the business office while he does so. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. Snow cares, Bluebeard. <laughs> A bit too All much. Right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us... a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. Look, chances are I'll have to swing by both anyways. No, so. chances are you won't have time. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock. <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Bluebeard, you're not going anywhere. Really now? And what? You gonna stand here and babysit me? While the rest of your leads evaporate into mist? We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. I'll go to Holly. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need charity. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. You and all you. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need charity. I always go to Holly's bar. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. The witch's identity must be with Lily's stuff. I should go see Holly first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. 
I'll check in with you later. I hope you know what you're doing. Truly, I do. Do not. Truly, I do not. Alright, uh, I'm gonna end this episode here, leave a like if you guys enjoyed, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Till next time, my name is Lucky Mayo, and I'm signing off.